everybody, it's me and I'm coming to you with Ink Fly Day. Heck yeah. I usually, I usually like open this up beforehand, but I didn't today because I thought it was on the other side. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's Ink Fly Day. We have a box. It's approximately an A5 size box, which tells me we might have a paper item in here. I could be wrong. It could be something completely different. It's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough that it could be a paper item. So I don't know. We'll find out. It's the joy of Ink Flight. The joy of Ink Flight is the surprise and the friends we've made along the way. Just kidding. I mean, I'm not just kidding. That's actually true, but let's look. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. I don't want to. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm just trying to get everything out of the box. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay, here. Okay, so I was correct about paper. What, what kind of paper do we have? Aeroful? One side. It's So it's dotted on one side. We might have to open this and look at it. I usually don't like to open the paper things because I like to save it. Sake technical paper. Loose sheets. A5. 5 millimeter dot grid. There's 100 sheets. It's made in Japan. Write, draw, unleash the brilliance of color. Ooh, exciting. I might have to try this. We have a sticker holding kind of what looks like a Wami 2000, maybe. And I'm um, doing all kinds of ink experiments. An, ink, an inky experiment octopus. We have our ink samples. And let's see. I don't know what we have yet. We're going to keep that a secret. Um, okay, the Sake Technical Paper Eurofull A5 Loose Sheet Tablet. Um... A5 loose sheet towel. I don't know what I said, but it seemed weird. Unleash the brilliance of color when you write or draw on this Japanese-made Aeroful 75 GSM paper. Ooh, 75 GSM. This paper showcases the vibrance and shading of fountain pen ink. It also resists feathering and show through. The 5 millimeter dot grid offers plenty of creative options to use the 100 sheets. Some ideas on how you could use the Aeroful A5 paper. Writing letters to thank friends, family, business associates. Sketching out the layout of a charcuterie board. Drafting the content of a website landing page, designing a dungeon for a role-playing game, keeping a gratitude log, practicing Spencerian handwriting with a flex nib, collecting inspirational quotes, making holiday wish lists or pen wish lists. Eric, um, ink underscore e underscore, I'm sorry, e underscore bear underscore ink, um, illustrated this month's inky experiment sticker. Stay curious, pen pals. Okay, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what inks we have, so we're going to... I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna try. Um, we're gonna try a sheet of this paper, I think. So it's a lovely, like, it's not white. I would say it's more cream or ivory. Um, and we do have pretty dark red on here. I think it's like a gray. It kind of looks like a lavender sort of dot grid. It's like a square dot grid. Interesting. But I think it's actually gray. So, okay. So, we'll try this. We'll write on this. Maybe do some swatches. We'll write the name. We'll use our dip pen. We'll write the name. Okay. I want to open the samples. I was going to look for spoilers because um, I'm not sure if Dormouse and Maria got theirs yet. Um, I was going to... Uh, look for spoilers and then I was like no I can wait well I thought I wasn't gonna be able to record this today that's why and I was like I can't wait till Sunday so let's see what we've got let's see what we've got we have two four six seven samples as usual we have ooh, octopus fluids okay sweet this is awesome this is a brand that I've never um, used before and it's one that I've been like interested in but like never I don't know if I just am not shopping where their inks are sold or I don't know. I just haven't tried their inks before. So let's see what the the flip the flip side says. True to its name, Octopus Fluids is an ink manufacturing company based in Dresden, Germany. For over 10 years, Octopus Chemists, oh, that, that makes the sticker make sense, um, developed a creative, technical, and specialty inks. They produce writing inks with pleasant shades, low feathering, and fast dry times. We have a sepia Schwartz. Let's put these in order. Sepia Schwartz, so it looks like it's a brown black, probably. Uh, 
Um, then we have aubergine, which is um, an eggplant color, purple. Then we have orange. There we go, orange. We have brilliant rot, which is a, a lovely red, probably. Have I shown any of these on camera? Here's this one, a really dark brown, the purple, the orange, and then the red. Then we have pebble stone, which I'm assuming is like, it looks like a pinky gray in the vial. I'm assuming it's a, a gray of some kind. I haven't read the description yet, that's why. Kari beak. I'm sure that I'm saying this wrong, but um, looks like a lovely teal. And then we have wine rot, which looks like looks like a dark red or a burgundy, maybe. I haven't read the description, so if you're looking at the descriptions on the paper, I haven't read them. Okay, sweet, yay! A brand I haven't tried, inks I haven't used. I love I love all ink lights, but I especially love when it's something new to me because I know that I have a problem and like I grab everything as soon as I see it. So it's always an extra special treat when it's something that I've not tried or used before. So yee. So we're gonna we're gonna swatch on our paper that we got in the ink flight. I'm also going to grab my 30 inks if you want a sneaky peeky. Well, it won't be a sneak peek by the time you see this unless you're not watching the video. I'm going to find an empty page that we can use in like October maybe for, because I'm going to need December. I haven't started uh, Inkvent, but I'm going to need December's pages. So let's see if we have like a clean page in October we can use. This will work. This will work. I'm going to write that this is November Ink Flight. Okay, so we will swatch. Um, somebody asked once, I forgot to swatch, I think, September's in, in the Hobonichi, and they asked why I do it sometimes and why I don't do it sometimes, and honestly, the only reason that I forgot was because, um, the only reason I forgot is because we were using September's pages for 30 inks, and I recorded September's video, obviously, in September, and I just, I just completely forgot about it. So, we're going to do our swatches in here, we're going to do sw some swatches on here and check out this paper, and then, um, yeah, oh, my lunch is going to be here too, cool. All right, and then we're going to um, do that. Okay, so the supplies I'm using, as usual, are my Moon Man N6 glass dip pen. I actually have a different dip pad on the way. I don't know when it'll be here, but I got one of those um, Eroshizu, I forget what they're called, honestly, but I got one of those other one. I think Chris has used one, um, but I got one of those and I'm gonna try it. So anyway, Moon Man N6 glass dip pen our ink samples, the, I'm using coloring cards. We're using our special paper that we got on the ink flight and we're using a Hobonichi Weeks, which has Tomoe River paper. All right, and then craft store brushes. And then for swatches in the various things, I'll probably be using this, unless I use the paintbrush at the same time. We'll see. Okay, I am back. Had a quick little snack break, okay. So we're going to do these in the order they appear on our sheet, which is Octopus Fluids Sepia Schwartz. I know that I said that wrong. Creepy nibs can correct me. Um, write with the vintage style using this dark woody neutral brown ink. This is from Ink Flight. What is on my finger? Ink Flight 1122. Ooh, this is a nice brown. Did I spell that wrong? I feel like I spelled that wrong. I did not. Oh, I did spell that wrong. There's no T. There's no T. Let's 
Ooh, I like this dark brown. It reminds me of um, Hiroshizuku Yamaguri a little bit. It's not exactly the same, but it's like, it's really dark like that. Okay, I need a better way of doing this. So I'm gonna move this around. I didn't write with it on the on the paper here. So we'll just do that. You, you good? You good, little girl? Okay. Meow. Okay, next up we have aubergine, and I lost my sheet. There it is. Octopus Fluids Aubergine. This charming purple ink has a blue halo with some light sheen. Well, that'll be interesting. Take a look. I like the way the color looks. Oh, I feel like this video is like all messed up. Flight November twenty two. Is it octopus fluid or octopus fluids? Octopus fluids. This is aubergine. I remember the first time I saw this word, I said, um, I feel like. Auber guy or something. I just like I'd never seen it spelled out. The little fake chromatography looks lovely. Pearl's going nuts. I don't know if you can hear her running around. She's going bonkers. Are you going bonkers, Pearl? I think you're going bonkers.
What? Per pearl? Orange. I wonder if this is a good orange. I feel like I'm like in the in my head. Um, okay. Oh, y'all, I just got a notification that Maria's ink flight video went up. So I'm glad that I didn't go look for it because it wasn't even up. Ink flight 11, 22. This tells me she probably got it yesterday as well. Um, octopus. Octopus fluids orange. This is a pretty orange. I feel like this is a patches approved orange. I was talking to the countess yesterday and I was again like freaking out about how much I'm excited like how excited I am that she's back and um and all that stuff and I was like the only thing I'm sad about is that patches isn't here to witness it because patches was the biggest creepy nibs fan the actual biggest creep and like even more than me and yeah um, Patches would always come up if I was watching a creepy nose video Patches would always come up and sit with me and watch the video and it was the cutest thing ever anytime anytime I was even if I was like anytime I was watching a video because I've I've watched the creepy nibs catalog like so many times it might be embarrassing how many times I've like watched it um I don't like the swatches on here with the paintbrush. I much prefer the automatic pen, I think. But anyway, I was talking to her about it and um, yeah, I was really, really sad about that. <laughs> so. so yeah, that's the only thing I'm sad about with the Creepy Nibs return. Meow. I like what this is how this how this is drying. It definitely like got the brown and the black and this looks lovely. Um uh oh uh oh Meow. And then we've got this. I don't like the swatches on the Tomoe River paper as much. Okay. This is gonna be a long video, I think. Sorry just because of the way I'm doing this, but I wanna see it on all the paper. All right, what are you doing for Pearl? I never really did read the description. I'm like all over the place today, I'm sorry. A brain cheery, this juicy golden orange color has smoking, has smoky shading. Octopus fluids, brilliant rot. This bold red stands out on the page like fire. This is a very bright red. Looks like a pretty basic red just off the cuff, but see. Okay. Again, I guess I can zoom in a little bit. Like you're so far away. So close. Actually, this is a pretty nice red. Okay.
Okay, it doesn't look so brilliant on this paper, but it was the end of the fill. That was the end of the ink on the pen, so we'll see. I like it on here, and I like it on that paper. It's a nice basic red. I hate the swatch. I hate the swatch on this paper. I hate it in the swatch. I like it on the coloring card, but that's it. Tell us all about it, Pearl. Okay, so we have this pebble stone, part of the pastel line. This light gray ink has a soft appearance that shades well. Exciting. Meow. I feel like uh, the Countess would like this gray. It's very light. I feel like Chris Signs would find this too um, light to read, but I feel like Creepy Nibs would love this. Hi, Pearl. Purple, hey, 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 hey. Oh my God, please don't step on that wet ink. Please, Purple, please. Hi, Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. Can you come here? Thank you, oh my gosh, thank you, Pearl, hi. Okay, we will now pause this ink light video for a snuggle from Pearl. I'll be back when she's done. This cat sat all over everything. Even um, got, she even sat on my Tumblr, I don't know if you can tell. Well, like this was still wet. She like sat on that. She sat on this. What a goober. What a little goober. She made me hold her. Like honestly, I was there for like 20 minutes. She literally like flat out sat on this book. I have a picture, I took a pic, I snapped a little picture. I'll put it at the end of the video. But this gray is lovely. This is definitely like a creepy nose gray. Okay. Okay, we shall move on. Oh, I didn't write it on here either. The paper feels um, soft like um, like Cosmo Air Light paper. I don't know if it is actually Cosmo Air Light paper, but that's kind of the writing experience it gives me. You can see that sheen a little bit on that. Okay. Okay, two more ink samples left. Karibik? Karibik? I don't know how I'm how to say this. I'm wondering if it's um where are they from? Germany? I wonder if it's like Caribbean or something. Caribbean blue, I'm not sure. It's a very it looks like a very lovely teal. Ink 
flight. I love this blue, this teal. It's very pretty. Can't wait to see the swatch, but the writing is lovely. Okay, doot doot. This is lovely. I like this color. I feel like I didn't, um, okay. There we go. There we go. Pearl. This is a lovely um, ink uh, palette that we have going on here. I like the colors. Um, next up we have, um, oh, I didn't read the, oh, I have, this entire ink flight video is a disaster, I'm sorry. The Caribbean sailed the refreshing waves of this aqua blue green ink, and then we have vine, vine rot. I said that wrong, I said that wrong, but I tried, I attempted. I'm going to say wine rot. This saturated deep burgundy red has a dark sheen. So, I probably, yeah, I probably butchered that. Don't tell me. Actually, do tell me. Did I get close? I probably didn't. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I was trying too hard. Oops. This is lovely. Okay. Okay. Actually, the one that Pearl ruined, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that since this is a dark ink. We're done with this for now, and now we need to do our last. Oh, is that brush already? Our last swatch. I'm also going to do. I'm gonna write. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to write with some pens on that paper just so we could try it out. I forgot to swatch it on my paper. Nobody said anything. Nobody told me. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can fix this. We can fix this. We just do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Ooh. Ooh, I'm just going to leave that single swipe there. That's lovely. Okay. I've wasted so much of this particular ink. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this out of the way so it can dry. And I have some pens here that we can write with just to see what this paper is like. Oh, I keep knocking my phone. It's because Pearl is sitting here and she like knocked everything over. I'm like, ugh. Kitty, no, stop. Okay. 
I know what I'm doing, I promise. Okay, so this is Twisby. Lovely. What else do I got sitting here? I have my Sailor Look Cool. Oh, what's the Hanai Kata? Okay, I love this pen on this paper. <laughs> this is a good combination. Uh, oh, I have a I have a ballpoint pen and a highlighter. Oh, I totally, totally just messed that all up. My shirt got in the swatch. That's lovely. So this is a. Highlighter here. Does it smear? It does smear. So it does have like a little bit of a coating. Here's my pen from Roxy, your day one pen. And I Midnight. So this is like Cosmo or light paper. It does make the ink like kind of spread out. Here's a broad nib. Do I have like a pencil or anything? What else do I have? I have one of these dot markers. So this is still drying. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll show off all of our swatches. And um, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, but yeah, this paper feels like Cosmo Air Light to me. Um, matter looks stunning on this. I like the way the Hana Ikata, I like the way that pen felt writing on this paper. So lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautimous. There is. That Jetstream does um, have some like ridging on the back where it kind of feels like braille. It's not braille, but you know. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna let this dry so we can finally see what this one looks like dry and I will, um, we don't get any bleed through. Well, a little bit here. But yeah, otherwise, it seems like pretty solid paper. It's gonna be fun to use. Okay, so we'll let all of our swatches and our swatch cards dry, and I will be back in a few minutes when it's all done. All right, we're back. We are back with our swatches. Everything's dry except there was this one spot that I blotted because I thought it was like, I thought this whole section was still wet, but it's just like a sheen. Um, yeah. I think of all of these inks, the Pebble Stone and the Wine Rot is probably my favorite. I love the sheen on this ink. I can't wait till you see the swatch. Um, also, on this paper... Again, it's been an hour since I finished this swatch and this, this little spot is still, I'm blotting it because, oh, well, it's not as wet as I thought. It was a smaller section than I thought, but here, can you see that sheen? It's like, it's a, it says it's a dark sheen. I don't know if it's quite a black sheen, but that's like the closest I can, I feel that it would be is a black sheen. But here's our swatches on this paper. I love that you can definitely see the sepia and the black, like the brown and the black, like it splits off on this paper a little bit if you have a big enough layer and I, I like that a lot. I think it looks really nice on this paper. Um, I think the aubergine looks really lovely on this paper as well, the orange. The Brilliant Rot, the only thing, the only application I like this on is the swatch cards. I don't really like this ink so much at all. Um, I thought it would be promising, but it pretty much, in my personal opinion, only looks like a good ink on the swatch card. This is just a basic red that is a fairly unsaturated red. 
Um, but yeah, this pebble stone though, freaking beautiful. It's looking darker on camera than it is in person, I think, but um, it's really, really light and will be, you know, illegible to some people, but I think it's stunning and I think Creepy Nibs would probably like it. I think Creepy Nibs would really like this one as well. Probably the purple, but definitely I feel like these two. And I feel like maybe this one. I like this one a whole lot. I think this is my favorite of the whole bunch. It's kind of a tie between these. Um, and then we have that Caribbean blue that's really stunning that I really like a whole lot. Looks like it has some like dark blue, like haloing in sections where there's a lot of ink, but um, I don't think I really saw that anywhere else. But yeah, this paper is really nice. Um, here again are the dried writing samples that I did. Twisby Eco, Sailor Le Cool, the Uniball Jet Stream at Kaveco, and a, a Twisby Broad. The shading in that um, uh, uh, iris, it's a uh, Diamide Meadow was the ink. That shading is really lovely. And I think this shading in the Hane Kata looks really nice too. Um, there was some good shading in Twisby Eco, but I ruined the swatch by getting my... Uh, sweatshirt in it so yeah so this is really nice paper like i said it's really soft and cushy reminds me a lot of um, cosmo air light paper which i love and hate here's our tomoyer paper swatches um it just looks i don't know it kind of looks kind of flat to me on the tomoyer paper i really don't like it on this cream paper at least um the writing looks okay but it's just like meh um, the aubergine, I like the writing better than the swatch here. The orange is okay. A basic orange, a basic red. Um, I really, really, really love that gray. Pearl kind of like messed up the swatch when she came up and sat by us, but, um, yeah. So you do kind of see a little bit of halo. Kind of has like a pink sheen almost in the dark blue. And then, oh, I can't properly show off the sheen on this why not I love it really nice really really nice let's take a look at our swatch cards so here we go zoom in there we go aubergine Orange, red, the pebble. The pebble like really blends in with my uh, with my desk pad back here. Um, the Caribbean blue, and then there we go. There you go. I love it. This is a really lovely ink flight. Um, where's our goodies? We have our paper which I'm really excited to use this paper. I think it's gonna look nice. I, the inks look lovely on this paper. Um, yeah, and then where's our sticker? Where's my sticker? Oh no, did I lose the sticker? Oh, here. Here's our sticker. Here's our sample. Here is our ink light. Oops. There we go. Thank you all so much for watching. This is like a really messed up video. <laughs> not my best ink flight, but uh, yeah, I was like kind of not really focused. But yeah, obviously we love, 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 love ink flight day. It's my favorite. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed yourself in here. In here. Have you ever used octopus fluids before? Do you, how do you feel about these inks? Let me know. Do you have a favorite that you saw from my swatching or even a favorite that, um, that's in like the regular line that maybe we didn't receive here? Ooh, excuse me. Um, yeah, just thank you for being amazing and I will see you again next month with an ink flight, but tomorrow with another 30 inks. Take care. Love you, bye.